All right, boys, want to do a quick video. It's been a hot minute since I've dropped anything. Um, no excuses, just life. But anyways, I have been playing the game a decent amount. Um, I'm having a lot of fun running the ball with all these vanguards, just like everybody else is. Um, but there's things that you need to know about it, right? It's not as simple as put your receivers or your tight ends at receiver and they're going to pancake or put your fullback at tight end and watch him pancake things. It's, it's really not as simple as that because a lot of people don't really understand what is triggering the different abilities. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of explain that to you guys. So there's a couple formations that I really like, and I'm going to go ahead and before I even get into those, I'm going to show you how you can get an additional passive Vanguard. And this is something a lot of people do not actually know is if you have the Jason Kelsey card, he gets Vanguard for three AP hefty price to pay. However, it is honestly worth it if you are running a running scheme because of the ability to just flat out pancake everything. Now, you see that I have Jason Kelsey at my fullback spot, right? And this is something that you can do with any center is you can always put a center at fullback the same way you can always put a tackle at tight end. Um, I don't know if this was intentional on EA's part, but this is the only way to really maximize the Jason Kelsey Vanguard ability because at center, unless they're spreading their defensive line and, you know, letting him hit a linebacker, almost every defense, whether it's a pinch three, four or a four, three, he's always double teaming a defensive lineman, right? So he's never going to just knock that guy over consistently. However, if you put him at fullback, he'll obviously wreck havoc, right? So that's what we did. We use formations in the run heavy book that allow me to get Jason Kelsey, if I want to, in the backfield to improve the run game. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of my favorite runs that I use this for. As I mentioned, Power Eye Strong is a formation I really like. I put Jason Kelsey at the fullback spot on the right. I have Trent Williams at the normal fullback spot. And then obviously you've got William Perry in the backfield. Um, now for this formation, putting a tight end that has Vanguard like Dalton Kincaid, for example, out wide, it's not going to matter. He's not going to pancake anybody because these are normal running plays. And that's, that's kind of tip number two in this is if you are running an RPO, a tight end will pancake a DB on an RPO. If it's a regular run play, like a dive or anything like that, they won't. It doesn't trigger. The game realizes that a tight end is not a receiver. For whatever reason, it doesn't work. However, a RPO, it will. So as you'll see right here, we're going to call halfback blast. This is one of my favorite runs in the entire game. And the reason for this is we're going to get anybody trying to shoot a gap, whether they're trying to shoot the A gap, they're trying to shoot the B gap to stop this run. They're going to be completely negated. They're going to run into a vanguard, get knocked over, and we're just going to pick up consistent yards. So the way it works, as you can see, we're going to go back to the instant replay, but they shoot the gaps perfectly on this run. So you'll see right here, Jason Kelsey in the backfield with Vanguard shoots the A-gap. So if you were to try to manually shoot the A-gap to blow up this run, you're not going to, right? He's going to basically run right into you and knock you over. Same thing with the B-gap, right? Trent Williams shoots the B-gap, and now basically just slow down, hopefully don't get tripped up over somebody's big feet. But you'll notice if you try to flip this run, it does not work the same. See how they both kind of go into the same gap? This run flipped is terrible. But normally, when it's ran to the left side, uh, it's smooth sailing. It's going to be impossible to shoot the gap. Basically, you just follow your lead walkers, and it'll be a score. Like, you won't even get touched. So that's the main run that I really like to go to. I have won entire seasons of Super Bowls by running this one play. Never passing. Um, the rest of the runs out of this formation are kind of okay. Halfback zone's decent. It goes to the right. Um, the dive is okay just because it's hard to shoot. Uh, power rows, meh. Uh, fullback dive is not very good. Uh, misdirection is interesting, but that's about it. So when I go to this formation, 99% of the time I'm running blast, and that's really it. Now, you can flip blast if you wanted to flip the whole formation and then run this to the right-hand side. So you could do that. But you see how uh, Kincaid, although he has Vanguard, that's a perfect example of that. He has Vanguard over here. He does not pancake Richard Sherman. Matter of fact, Sherman wins the block and goes ahead with secure tackler, just tackles the fullback or the running back. So 
that is kind of part two to this. Part three, I guess, whatever you want to call it. I'm losing track of my number system here. But um, if you wanted to pancake by using the tight end vanguards, the best way to do that is to put them into a formation that utilizes RPOs heavy. So Strong Eye Pro, in this case, you can see has Counter Alert Smoke, has Stretch Alert X Lookie. Both of those are RPOs. Blast Alert X Smoke, Alert Power Alert X Smoke. All of these are... RPOs, meaning that they will pancake your opponent. So here we go. We're going to do the same thing. Now I got Kincaid over here to the left side. I got Andrews to the right. You'll see with this run, I'm going to go to the instant replay, just kind of show you how this works. It wasn't a great example of, of run stick on my end, but paying attention over here, see how he pancakes them? Now, I mean, he, he felt the need to, you know, jump on them here, but, uh, He's going to do it every single time. And that's that's the, the point of the tip, right? So this is another really good run play. It kind of glitches out anybody's, u anybody's user. It's a counter. You get two pulling guards, essentially, because one's a fullback. Um, and it just creates a nice little alleyway for you to run. Uh, this is another really good run. Like I said, if your opponent is in these defenses where they have three defensive linemen or four defensive linemen, two ends that are on the line of scrimmage and only one person in the middle of the field, generally that's their user. They're going to be absolutely smoked. 4-3 even, 6-1. Any defense like this, 3-3 three, three cub, like they, they have no shot against defenses or against offense like this because of the fact it, it's going to pancake the outside guys and you're not going to be able to gap shoot it. <laughs> really as simple simple as that um so really good runs as i mentioned at a strong pro the stretch alert x looky will work we'll just go to this one now we showed sherman get off the block earlier i want you to see how it works here see how he gets pancaked um and that's andrews over there i don't know what his run blocking is i know kincaid's is not very good but i'll just run another example of that real quick you see Andrews on this right hand side is going to pancake Sherman every single rep, right? So back over here, la da da, boom, just get on the ground, keep it moving, right? So you can maximize what you're doing with these vanguards if you know what you're doing. And that's what I think a lot of people are not either don't know and nobody's really lab to kind of explain it. So I wanted to make sure I broke that down for you. Um, another run that I really like that is. Not an RPO, but it does catch a lot of people off guard for me. It is going to be this inside zone lead out of the strong eye Y open flex. Not a formation a lot of people have, have probably ever even seen. But basically, you get... In this case, I've got Trent Williams out here. And he's just going to knock that slot guy over every time. Kelsey will knock out that defensive end pretty much every single time. And then you can just see, just easy peasy. Very easy run scheme to do. Now, I know a lot of people preach, oh, you know, gap shoot this, gap shoot that. I'm showing you guys runs where you can't gap shoot. And that's really the, the point of these. Um, moving right along, the other thing we'll take a look at here is going to be out of the weak eye slot. Now, for those of you guys that are familiar with the bubble screen glitch, you can use the bubble screen glitch here, and I may save this for a separate video, but you can use the bubble screen glitch to get your opponent's linebackers and DBs, basically anybody not in the deep zone, to blitz. And then you can, you know, roll out. You've got a ton of play action plays to roll out with. And then you've got this halfback blast out of here that is, once again, a phenomenal run play just because it's going to be pretty much impossible to gap shoot. And, uh, yeah. All you need to know, guys. So hopefully it's a 10-minute long video, basically, of me explaining how to run the ball with all these vanguards, how to really put them to the best use, how to use Jason Kelsey and, you know, make it worth that 3 AP. And, um, yeah, you guys will never need to pass the ball again, I promise you, as long as you guys, you know, get used to figuring out which run works against which uh, front.